Yeah, I'm gonna take you on a little journey. It's officially the first miserable day that I've had on this Scotland trip. A little bit spooky. Why do I think that they're kind of cute? <laughs> I just checked in early at my room, but look at this. Okay, ready? Get ready. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the pink's nice. Um, yeah, this is officially my favorite room of the trip. <laughs> it was the cheapest one too. I think because there's no windows, I got it for a lot cheaper. Um, but it is generally just like, just a bed and then a bathroom, but the bathroom is really nice. Um, um, but yeah, I went to see if I could do like an early check-in, um, because my bag was really, really heavy and they said, yeah, sure, your room's ready. Um, so that's why I'm in here, but I'm going to go to, well, hopefully if I can find it, there's like a market. Um, like, I think it's more of like an artisan and craft market. So I'm really, really, really hoping that it's good. Um, and then after that, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Um, there's a couple things on the list. So I was like, I could go to the cathedral and check out like all the other like old and architectural buildings, maybe do like afternoon of that. Or I'll probably just find something to do because tomorrow I'm not really in Glasgow because I'm doing a day trip. So I really only have like this afternoon and then um, not tomorrow, the like morning of the next day before I have to go back to Edinburgh to catch my flight back to Heathrow. So, I don't know. But um, some of the other things on the list that I was thinking I could do that I probably won't be able to do today just because of time, like time-wise, was um, there's a science museum I thought looked really cool. Um, and the botanic gardens here I've heard are really nice. So we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I think I only really filmed like one or two clips on the journey from Inverness to Glasgow because it was like it was on a bus it was supposed to be a train but I was waiting for my train like at the train station obviously and um and like 10 minutes before it was supposed to leave um it said oh it's now a bus not a train no one told me this so I'm glad I saw otherwise I would have missed the bus but um it was a bit quicker actually because I wasn't supposed to arrive here until like, I think like 1.30, but I got here like a bit before one. So that's okay with me. But yeah, I'm gonna take you on a little journey. Hopefully we do and see some fun things. I swear, I, I need like one of those, like, I don't know if you can get them for your phones, but you know those things that you get for your cameras that like, like staple your camera like when you walk do you know what I mean I think my cousin used to, my cousin Brayden used to have one Brayden if you're watching let me know what they're called because <laughs> I swear every time I film and I'm like trying to film like a nice shot and I'm walking it just it just it just ruins it it really does and like I know I could just stop walking and I want to take a video but I've got places to be and <laughs> sometimes you just like can't stop like if there's like people behind you it's just like really awkward so <laughs> I apologize in advance and I'm afraid you're just gonna have to deal with it until I find a solution <laughs> but I don't think there is a solution
Ferris, if you're watching this, look away. These people are crazy. These dogs here are like running through them. <laughs> They're like a little army. <laughs> Cute. Why do I think that they're kind of cute? <laughs> is that weird? Anyways, enough of the pigeons. Look how beautiful this building is. Once again, sorry for the shaky filming. <laughs> I am walking. Um, just trying to get closer for you guys so you can see. I don't know if you can really tell, but there's all like all the windows have got little people in them. Okay got distracted but I'm, I'm back on track to go to the markets also I forgot to mention that like <laughs> one of the main reasons I came to Glasgow was because I just want to hear everyone's accents um ooh, this looks really nice um I just want to hear everyone's accents to be honest and I've heard like probably like two Glaswegian people is that they call Glaswegian oh I don't know about that <laughs> Plus, yeah, Glaswegian. <laughs> I think that's what they're called. Um, but I'm hoping that, like, since the markets, it'll be like local kind of businesses and like local people. I think I'm gonna hear some good accents. <laughs> Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening. Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden I didn't know if I'd make it or not because I thought they might have like it shuts at five and I got here at four I thought like maybe they might have like stopped letting people in by a certain time but here we are and it's packed so I don't feel guilty <laughs> um, yeah I'm gonna have a little browse have a little squiz squiz around and see if I find anything cool 
by the way, the place I've come to is I think called Kelvin's Grove Gallery and Museum. Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, I never knew this, but apparently to get yourself kitted out, which is referring to getting yourself um, mummified, it takes 15 days. What? I got a lovely, <laughs> a lovely demonstration. Okay, so this is what I was trying to describe to my mum the other day, but the seagulls here compared to Australia are massive and I've just found, um, found some in the museum, so I'm going to show you. So that's like the size I would say an Australian one is, but like over here, they're like that big. I'm not even joking. They're huge. <laughs> morning <laughs> it is day well technically day three but more, more so day two of Glasgow because the day in the middle was um, when I went to Glencoe so this is sort of like the second day in Glasgow but basically um, I'm heading to a yarn shop today because um, I want to get yarn for that idea that I said a couple vlogs back where I'm going to get a different ball of yarn of each cool place I go to and then make a blanket out of all the different colours so it's like like of all the you know what I mean like all the cool I hope that makes sense like all the cool places I went to and like all in one blanket hopefully it makes sense but I got my my boots on today and if you saw the vlog from yesterday when I went to Glencoe you'll know that these boots have been through a lot <laughs> Especially this one. <laughs> those who know know and those who don't, you need to watch the other vlog. <laughs> yeah, I've packed up all my stuff. I'm just going to head out. I don't have anything else planned today. I need to get some breakfast, but um, we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us. And then, yeah, I'm flying. Well, I'm training it back to Edinburgh. So that'll be like... I think I leave at like 10 past 1 or something like that. And then I fly out at Edinburgh at 5 something. So, yeah, that won't be very interesting. But maybe this morning will be interesting. Okay, it's officially the first miserable day that I've had on this Scotland trip. It is miserable. <laughs> it's so cloudy and rainy. Okay, so I went to the yarn shop and I did pick out a ball of yarn. I don't think I showed you guys, but I'll insert a little clip now. Okay, here we are, guys. It's kind of like a blue blend, I guess you could say. It's got a bit of grey, it's got a bit of blue, it's got a bit of royal blue, it's got a bit of baby blue. I've attached a second row to it um so stay tuned for the vlog where i go to this place um which will be coming up soon but oh god how am i going to show this it's really really big so i'm hoping it's going to be like it should like fit the length of i think a queen or a double bed i made it for but I probably, I won't put it on my bed, I don't think. It'll probably just be like a throw, you know, on the lounge or, you know, like when you're just like watching TV, that kind of thing. Like, I don't think it's going to be like 
a bed blanket. But yeah, that's that's the blue. <laughs> Anyways, it was like this cool like blue modelly one. But I'm gonna now head to the Glasgow Cathedral. Cause I've heard that if I gotta go somewhere, it's there. Like people are like, you gotta go there. Well, that's what people said on the tour yesterday. So I um, might do that. But I really wanted to go to the Science Museum. But um, it's like an hour away from here. So I guess it's not, not really on the cards for today because I have to catch my train at around one o'clock. So I don't really have time for it, but maybe next time. But I can see that in the distance, which looks like it could be a cathedral. And it says it's about a 13 minute walk from where I am now. So very much so <laughs> could be the cathedral. Okay, I think that building with the scaffolding on top, I think that might be the cathedral. But, um, I found another necropolis. <laughs> I think that's what you call them. Um, which I have to walk through to get to the cathedral. So, a little bit spooky. There we go. Glasgow necropolis. I'm saying that wrong and just ignore it just say it right in your head <laughs> a little bit spooky For watching really uh, this is the last video of the Scotland trip that I've just um, finished uploading so Glasgow is the last one um, and yeah I just wanted yeah to say a big thank you for watching all of them um, I truly had like the best time it, it was about a, like, a little bit over a month ago now that I went there um, but I, I still think about that trip constantly so um, hopefully you enjoyed all the videos um, and if you enjoyed this Glasgow one you can go check out the other ones if you would like um, but coming up there'll be a couple more um, like London based vlogs and then I do my first Europe trip so some of you probably already know where it is um, <laughs> if not um, I mean, you feel free to leave a guess in the comments below, but um, yeah, it was my first ever trip to Europe and then today actually I booked another trip to Europe. Can you guys hear that? I think it's like an ice cream van or something. Can it please be quiet? Okay, anyways, I think it stopped. Um, yeah, I booked that like today, so that'll be in about a week and a half's time but obviously I've still got to upload I think I've got about five vlogs that I'm, um, I'm editing at the moment so hopefully hopefully you're keen for some more um, and if not sorry because <laughs> they're coming um, but yeah, um, yeah, thank you so much for all your support during this little, I guess you could call it like a season, like a, like a, what would you call it? Mm, like a, a collective of vlogs with a sort of all like from the one trip. Um, thank you for, I got a couple lovely little comments, which was really nice. Uh, my first couple of comments on this channel. Uh, so that's really, really cool. 
Um, but yeah, if you like them, let me know. And yeah, to try and take a guess at where I'm going next because it, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. But yeah, uh, thank you. And I'll see you guys. <sighs> when will it be? It'll be a London vlog and it'll be about about a month to like half a month ago I filmed it. So yeah, bye.